Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to s simplify an absolute value expression. Remember that absolute value is the distance from zero. So any number that we can evaluate down to a single uh, number that's inside the absolute value will make that number positive. Okay, so here's what I mean. We're going to treat absolute values sort of like parentheses here. So we're going to start by, again, order of operations is key. We're going to start by starting inside the parentheses and evaluating what 2 minus 10 is. It's a, it's a common mistake that people want to distribute into absolute values. It's usually not a good idea. The only time it can work is if that number is positive. But if it's all just numbers here, what I would do is just evaluate this first. So 2 minus 10 is just going to be negative 8. So we'll change this to a negative 8. And I'm going to bring everything else down. I've got my 3 minus 2 absolute value. I haven't taken the absolute value yet, so I'm going to leave the bars there, plus 11. Now, now that this negative 8 is down to a single number in the absolute values, what I'm going to do is take the absolute value and make it positive 8. And when I do that, I, the absolute value bars go away and I just make them regular plain old parentheses. Again, I'm going to bring everything else down. I've got my 3 minus 2 plus 11. And now I can start working with that 8. I can't work with anything in here until I've got it down to one number and I take the absolute value of it. Okay, so now we can start working like a, a normal order of operations problem that you might be familiar with. Negative 2 times 8. Again, multiplication will come next before addition and subtraction. So 2 times 8 is going to be 16. Again, since that's a negative 2, it should be a minus 16. I'll bring down the plus 11. Bring down the 3. And now finally, I can add and subtract from left to right. So 3 minus 16 is negative 13. And then I'll bring down the plus 11. Negative 13 plus 11 is negative 2. And there's your answer. So this whole expression up here, this whole thing is just equal to negative 2. Okay. Same rules are going to apply on this one on the right that's maybe a little bit more, um, a little bit more tricky, a few more steps involved. The goal here again is going to be to get this all down to one number in each of these absolute values and then take the absolute value of it, make it positive because it's the distance from zero. So we'll start off in this left parentheses. So I'm going to underline this here. We always need to do exponents first before we do multiplication or subtraction. So I'm going to start by squaring that 2 inside the absolute value. So this should be a 4. So this should then be equal to 2 times the absolute value of 3 times I'll put a 4 here. And then we'll put a minus 1. Close the absolute value, minus 10. Now, this negative 2 is also in an absolute, its own absolute value. That's already down to one number. So let's just go right now and make that a positive 2. Okay, so I, all I did is I dropped the absolute value bars, made that 2 positive. Now we'll go down to the bottom here and leave our 6. Okay, moving right along. The next thing we're going to want to do is probably multiply inside this absolute value here. So let's make this 3 times 4 a 12. So we've got 2 times the absolute value of 12 minus 1. Close the absolute value. I'm going to evaluate this right now too. This 10 minus 2 is just going to be equal to 20. So this will be a minus 20 up here. And that will all be divided by 6. We're getting there. Now the 12 minus 1 here, we can evaluate next. We're trying to get that down to one single number. So this would be 2 times the absolute value of 11 minus 20, all divided by 6. So I just took 12 minus 1 here, and I got 11. Now that this is down to one single number, I can take the absolute value of it. And you might guess the absolute value of a positive number just stays the same. So really, this is just going to become 2. And I drop the absolute value bars and just make it 11. Okay, Bring everything else down, minus 20, all divided by 6. We're almost there. Remember that we need to multiply before we subtract. So 2 times 11 is 22. 
minus 20 over 6. So uh, 22 minus 20, we need to subtract here because remember that this whole big fraction bar sort of implies that there's parentheses up here on top. We need to evaluate the whole top before we can factor in the bottom here. So 22 minus 20 is 2. And 2 over 6 will just simplify to 1 -third if you reduce that fraction. Okay. Again, the key here when you're um, simplifying an absolute value expression, don't try to bring numbers from the outside of the absolute value into it. Simplify the whole inside like it's its own separate problem. And then whatever you get it down to, take it, make it positive, and drop the absolute value bars.